Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. We'll analyze some of the biggest sentiment stories and, of course, have lifestyle conversations. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my interesting co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwash. Okay. That was good. Hello. How are you doing? So, you're, you're not a dust me guy. Let it go. Um, so, it was brought to my attention that when Ife was expressing his self about like the assault that he went through in his relationship that we didn't take him seriously and i tried to you know explain that it's because we've heard it so many times but i still felt like you know every time it you do bring it up it shouldn't be something that we don't you know preach that it's really a serious matter men are actually like do i cry every time they tell my mother has died i don't understand <laughs> no but like you know just to address that it is a serious matter we know it's a serious matter so let's but... bring that up that in case we did not allow in case did, we didn't create did you feel an somehow? environment that... No, I'm wondering where this is coming okay. from, but oh. it's, it's fine. Okay. Okay, but, so but maybe we should I explain it is from our audience, right? Mm. So explaining it is that we've heard it over and over again. Now, we know mm. he is over it. He is fine. <laughs> he was just using himself as an no, example not. for all that. You're I'm not over not. it. No, I need, I think I need therapy for that. I think you're really so doing you, you're therapy. You're not the way to the therapy spa. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I mean, violence against anybody, it's a big deal and mm. we don't take it lightly, mm. whether it's from a man to a woman or a mm. woman to a man. It's, it's not acceptable. Mm. And I think in the morning, I wanted to also talk about how even the Hollywood movies, not Hollywood now, thank goodness, has made mm. it like a culture that like a woman can just raise her hand and slap the guy. Like, mm. Because I'm, I'm, I'm angry. He broke my heart. He offended mm. me. He cheated on me. Like, you don't have the right to slap someone. Mm. And so some people have seen that as the right thing to do. So the woman has the right to slap a man when he mm. does something wrong. And I think that's absolutely wrong. So mm -hmm. no, I know you, you're good. But you could see that. For the guy, most part, worry. yeah. I'm a strong guy. Mm. But now that you guys have brought it up, I think we need yeah, to feeling emotional. This is what Twitter people do. I'm sure that person is a Twitter person. <laughs> 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 okay, moving on real quick. Um, Nollywood actor Jude Chupuka expresses gratitude to Naramali after receiving one million Naira gifts. And expresses it with Oh, how long we get? Mm. Hey. Oh, how long we get? Hey. Stop <laughs> she there. Hey. Who knows the dance? Well, that's though? nice, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, should I do my own Naramali video? I'm, I'm, it would take I'm me a while to be able to do that smoothly. The lyrics is complicated. I will learn it. Ah, okay. Mm. As long as it's, uh, it's studying for one million. Now. What's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's nice of him. Mm. Um, is it only the line of David? I don't know. It's a one million naira giveaway thing, but yeah, could do. And he him. did a lot of hundred k giveaways. And I think the man well he did it actually when so. he yeah. released mm. the, that song. The... Who doesn't need a hundred uh, one million naira? Some people don't need. It. I mean, I need to. Some people have a, unlimited. Credits, uh, only take credits, whatever in the card. Cosmos, Madu, Cosmos. Mm. Oh, okay. <sighs> 10 billion naira transfer, mm. like mm -hmm. it's nothing. It, it will happen for all of us. Amen. Amen. Let me just say, man. Like, they say, yeah, not say man. <laughs> it's happen, but it's not by it's happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's not by amen. It's not by amen. Mm, it's mm -hmm. not. Anyway, mm. we're working towards it already, so mm. you should be saying the amen. Mm. If you're not working towards it, maybe you shouldn't. Um, yeah, let me not be negative. I'm just going to nod my head. How many people in this life oh, <laughs> will be on that? Well, yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah, we're working towards it. Moving on. Abu uh, Mali is still at the center of our next conversation as he seeks to open a non-profitable charity kind of thing, according to him, where people can just come to eat at any time and also help them for any other things they need help with. So he's asking, where do we start from, guys? He's asking for ideas, so he's saying, do we open five spots on the mainland or what? Yeah. Mm. I like it. I like the thoughts, obviously. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but it seems like when he's, you know, coming you in and he's feeling a little grateful or whatever, and he wants mm -hmm. to give back. And I love that. I really, like, if I put a, can I put a speaker to this type of tweet so everyone can see that? I like the idea that, you know, once you've received a lot, you share with others. That's my motto. But I'm thinking about those restaurants is going to work, though, because... Mm -hmm. um, that's gonna, it's going to be packed. How are you going to know the amount of people to cook for? How are you going to keep cooking? Is there going to be like, um, are we going to be warming the food so we just cook plenty? Cause I, no, no, that no. Let's 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 be realistic. I don't think that. I don't think the food itself would be a problem. I don't think Nigerians would ever be short of. Like I don't think there's ever a place in Nigeria where you can say you're short of feeding people. Like I don't think no, we'll you have, have that to problem. No, you have to open a restaurant where you can work in and you can always get food mm -hmm. if you so, need it. Like. Obviously, people that don't need it will go there. I doubt it because once the people that start going there that need it, 
I don't think people who need it want it. I don't know. I'm just, I just, I already, can already imagine. Did you not see during the pandemic thing and they were doing the? Um, and you saw any middle class person rushing? To I saw chasing. a guy with suit and tie one day. So doesn't that's mean wearing suit and tie doesn't, doesn't mean, mean a middle class. Poor. Yeah. It looked very okay. Nice shoes. Hmm. Nice suit. It's so be very hard to believe, no. but okay. Um, either ways, I think it's very easy to do such a thing. You obviously need um, logistics and a construction. Planning. Yeah, a lot yeah. of planning to it. There can be a means where you apply for that per week or, you know, so that you feed everyone. You only get one week and, and then the next person and then the next person. Be, it's open from this time to this time. Yeah, it can't the be open the whole year no, and all over ticket, yeah. like you said. I mean, it requires a lot of planning and that's why he's also asking for ideas. I like that. He um, yeah. five spots on the mainland. Of course, he would definitely start on I'm the I'm sure mainland. there's a way would work though. I'm sure there's a way. I started to go and reply that thread and say, please, uh, um, there's like two or three NGOs that I know that already do um, feeding schemes and stuff. And I've, I've volunteered once. I am, I'm sorry, I didn't go again because I was just sweating like in my That place was so hot. But there's so many other places like other NGOs like that that you can really work with to mm -hmm. give, that already have structure on how they do and where you can find the people, the right people, because you don't want to feed people who already have a means. So to find the right people, they have all the like um, connections and the admin mean for everything like that so that's why i'm just gonna apply to you in case you don't watch tea time okay cool tea time continues right after this short break Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Alibaba? Ali Baba. Right now? Oh, <laughs> are you? A Plus TV Africa, we feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like Woo! Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Nikanon is on the fire for saying monogamy isn't natural for men. If I shouldn't care. I don't agree because, um, of course, my dad is married to just my mom, but um, I agree <laughs> to... <laughs> I, I don't know why it. that was funny, but I would keep it to myself. Okay. Yeah. And um, you keep it to yourself? Mm -hmm. Okay. And secondly, I kind of agree with the hunting spirit that men have because <laughs> yes <laughs> you just agree to hunting spirit. yeah 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 no no i agree <laughs> to the hunting spirit but now there are a lot of hunters that never catch a prey that they just look at the prey and they're like mm. So why are you yeah, hunting? How will you slide. say you pray and you let it slide? Why are you not hunting? Why, why are you hunting? hunting? What, why are you in the bush? Um, the spirit is there. You have the spirit in you. <laughs> but you are not catching the prey. Do you understand? Mm. There's a difference. Because I've seen a lot of married men that are seriously faithful to their mm. wives. Do you understand? Mm. But, and you're chilling with them and they see a girl and they're like, hmm, they must react. Mm. It's a reaction. But do they act on that thought? That's the difference between a man who cheats on mm. his wife and a man who sees, admires from a distance, but will not disrespect mm. For me, I think what he said, um, he said monogamy isn't natural for men, yeah? I think monogamy isn't natural for anybody. Same. That's how I feel about it. Mm -hmm. um, getting into a relationship and being faithful is a decision and a choice you have to make. And it takes a lot of discipline to keep to that and do that because you respect the person you're with and understand what your choice is, actually the wrong one can do to your partner. So um, this idea of it being that it's only men, that you, their body is to move or they mm. have options, mm. please, we have options as women. We but see you guys them. also see men and you're like, hmm, even of when course. you're in a relationship. You must swear to like, hi, Bowsy. <laughs> hey. So I like, feel it. Okay, um, I agree that you, I didn't like that he made it about males because i think both people but he's not very far off and he's not the person that created this idea it's been said even in edu in like educational studies and stuff that um not just humans but mammals in general have the tendencies especially the males it's been it's, it's seen in different types of species where the males are more susceptible to 
um, chasing a lot of women in comparison to the woman. Um, and that you even find like in some animal kingdoms where men will fight themselves to become the alpha so that they can sleep with a lot more women. So I'm not going to sit here and point fingers like he's a, his thoughts is out of the normal. Like it's something that has been preached a lot. But I think there's a massive difference between mammals and um, human beings. And one of the biggest things for me is self-control. So mm -hmm. whether man or woman and whether your, your tendencies are higher than the other person, I still think that you have the... Unseen spirit. Um, whether your hunting spirit is on 10 degrees or <laughs> on 5, um, you still have the um, control. You have to, the capacity, the capacity to, control to control yourself. I would say, though, that there are some people that I've seen in my life that their tendencies are just a lot more higher than normal. And that's just how they are naturally. And they have means of, um, what's it called, expressing that still being in a healthy position. But, like, but like open know, relationships and things like that. So I... I I don't think it's anything that he has said, except from obviously generalizing. But I'm pretty sure that well, people knew he's that he was not he's not generalizing. He's been saying it is not new. And from the day I started having sense in my life, I've always said I do not agree with saying a man is naturally a polygamous person or cannot. Yes, everybody. Because, I mean, I, I think maybe I'll just talk about um, the environment I grew up in. And it, it is clear, if we want to be sincere with ourselves, that women are even... A lot more um, open to exploring their sexuality but because of how this um, society has actually caged them that's why when you now hear the stories of when a woman did this and did that ah, women mm. did this i tell you it's been happening for a very long time it's yeah. not just now but they they have mastered the art of covering those things they do and you don't even realize it is happening it's like that, until it's, it's in your face. It's like that narrative that they always say that women, um, what's it called, that women can cheat more. Cheat more. Like it's hmm. such a, I feel like girls just allow that to um, happen because it protects us more. But it is so easy to have meaningless sex just as much as a man and no shaking. Just saying. But I think this is quite debatable because there are lots of men that would not even think about cheating. They don't even, it doesn't cross their mind. So whether Same or as not, a lot of women. Yeah, well. yeah so... Um, no, I'm just now he's talking about men that it's unnatural for men to be um, monogamous, okay. right? So I'm saying that that's not it's to generalize it is not fair on a lot of men because there are men that it that's the way they've been wired mm. that they haven't. I don't okay, my brother. Okay, they'll say I have this story. My brother, mm -hmm. all the while growing up, he was the good boy of the family. Like, he doesn't go out, he doesn't drink, he doesn't do nothing, he doesn't like to party, he doesn't do... You get... All he does is read, watch television and all that. And as soon as he got out of the university, he got a girlfriend. I didn't see him with a girl before then. Mm. He got a girlfriend. And that's the girl he's married to today. I don't know if he has changed, but all the, he's mm. not in the country anymore. But all the while I knew him, I knew him with just one, one girl person. his whole life. Mm. So there are people that are programmed no, like totally that. I totally yeah. agree yeah. with you, which yeah. is why I'm saying it goes both, both ways. Yeah. There are women who are programmed that way, and there are also women who... Mm -hmm. whether they are trying to hold themselves or not and they are ones that are exploring whether you pull are happy or not is not mm. their business so i think it goes both ways but we don't expect it from women because we expect a certain kind of standard from a woman because yeah. she is a woman and i guess where if his mindset is that yeah men, men are monogam and are not monogamous naturally but we expect the women to still stay that's when i i think that there There's is a, a problem a, like a, you, well, i don't think that's his mindset, mindset because in the conversation he was having with the lady he was kind of trying to Put out that vibe to say why don't you try to think yeah, about because then i i, I remember when he also yeah. replied and said oh what is, is it like you just want to own the person mm -hmm. that narrative needs to be thrown into the bin just because i want to be committed to someone and have structure doesn't mm -hmm. mean i'm trying to own someone like you you that has the lack of control problem should then not see and i think that's what that's what is wrong with nick is that if you think that way then it's very easy to he see wants life to, be able through. to get anybody he sees yeah. and likes and is attracted to and i don't mm. think life works that way anyway um, moving on real quick, um, this one says, if you're looking to build a great relationship, um, a great life and marriage, be careful about trends like hashtag fear women, hashtag men as calm, etc. Um, they plant seeds of fear, distrust and uncertainty that can mess with your mind over time. Guard your heart with all diligence. And this coming from writer Ikechi Ugo AJ. And I think I absolutely agree with this yeah, because I was, uh, I, I had this thought, I, just I never, I, I, I didn't get to tweet it, but I, this same thought went through my mind. I think the day fear women was trending and I feel mm -hmm. like if you keep consuming these things and you're not well grounded 
in, within yourself. It can mm. make you begin to question every single person, and even the person you're supposed to have something beautiful with, you begin to ask, is this person going to treat me like that woman, that woman in the fear woman, woman trend? So I think we need to minimize how much we consume if you really want to enjoy your relationship. And if you want to consume, don't bring sure it you home. Have your strong don't bring it. Don't start things. judging if uh, because of what else he did mm. online. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I, I went and just looked a bit deeper into the story because when I read it, I felt like, well, I think this is very obvious. Um, a lot of the times, this is, I, I guess you can say this is in one particular moment where I can say this thing just ends at social media. It in the world, in the wo well, mm. uh, according to research and stats, it does because it's about 75% to 15 about the people who actually go around with that mental, like mentality in person. People are still falling in love. The rate of, mar of relationships are still, still the same. The sa rate of marriages are still, nothing has actually shown to prove that this is past social media hashtags. And yes, there's situations, yes, that people are hurt, men are trash, men can be trash, and women should be fed in some cases and stuff like that. But um, to, to, uh, to say that there has been a direct correlation that is harming the need to want to pair yourself with a man or pair yourself with a woman hasn't really been formed yet. But if you are one of those few people, 15%, that has taken men at trash or, and has worn it as a nice glove or you have taken fair women and have worn it and you're using that as a means to almost like um, restrict yourself from living life, then it's unfortunate. And maybe you should get, um, what's it called? Parental guidance when you're on social media. Um, the tweet is absolutely correct, but um, I just want to say it's not apart from men as scum, apart from um, fear Still women and all of that. I think it's just generally don't judge anybody using your previous experience, especially you. Be careful about it. Mm. Be careful making decisions, right? Mm. But do not use it as a yardstick for why I'm not going to be with mm. another man, absolutely. why I'm not going to be with another woman. So it's not just fear women, it's not just men and scum, it's there are a lot of things that I, could I, make I, it. Yeah, I like that you mentioned I actually that. thought, sorry, are, are you coming? I actually thought you were going to talk about um, not even believing things you see online because mm. there are people that will just sit down. And people that are writing Type. men and scum, they are typing it in a man's arm. Really they will reply well. things online yeah. and just say things that they cannot, they were not there. It's just happening in their head and they're tweeting it and yeah. telling you. One tweeted, the day they were jagging me, one tweeted and said, that Elsie that we're trying to lose weight like forever and that is very fat. That's why, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> what weight exactly mm. am I trying to lose that's very fat? So, but someone who doesn't know will look at that tweet and run along and say, ah, Elsie was fat. I see, no, not even was. She may say I'm fat right mm. now, I'm trying to lose weight. So the person will run along with it and say, oh, that's why. You know, there are a lot of people that tweet things that doesn't yeah. really make sense and are not true and you just need to watch what you consume anyway. Yeah. I think that's the only, I like, as I was saying, I like that he mentioned that because I think what these hashtags have done for me, maybe not with men because I've always feared men, just being honest. I've, I've always, <laughs> especially when there are plenty, I'm like, yeah, mm, yeah. let me just move mm. back small. Um, but I think for the fear, fear women um, trend, I think it's, it, it made me um, a lot more aware of how harmful women can be. Pers truthfully speaking, I haven't really experienced or seeing them firsthand in my personal like I don't have that type of drama around me. So when I looked at that tr um, trait, it might be false, like you've mentioned, but a lot of times I started to see that we, so, there are some women that are using their um, victim position as a means to exploit men mm. and how creative they can get and things like that. So that was interesting for me to look at. And as I said, I can learn from, from that hashtag and all that stuff. But if you take it to a point where now you start to implement and you know, enforce that into your life, you. then yeah, mm -hmm. there's a problem. Okay, so moving on to Kanye West, um, he announced his platform, calls it the birthday party. He told Forbes, quote, like anything I've done, <laughs> why are you people laughing now? Kanye's a vibe. <laughs> like anything it's I've so ever good. done in my life, I'm doing this to win. I read and this. he completely lost me when he started talking about 666. And that they want to insert a chip in us. Yeah, so and I don't know. To Kanye the West kingdom. fan, Hafa. Um, well, <laughs> <laughs> the birthday party. Mm. Now I was hoping like America's maybe, going to joke maybe I could mm. make <laughs> maybe I could make meaning out of what birthday stands for. Okay, but I couldn't. But uh -uh. like everything Kanye does, obviously he would but have. But he's usually on a deeper level. Than yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's why I said for everything Kanye does, there's always an explanation. Don't birthday be party. He's going to drop something hmm. tomorrow and tell us that okay, birthday party is about something. The birthday is, is the rebirth of America, so it's the birthday when I become the president. You go party every then, day. 
No, it's the, it's the birthday <laughs> of America. The rebirth, America, the rebirth of, of, of America. Mm. You know? Uh, think, he also addressed the part where he, <laughs> he's being accused of trying to split votes um, for... Between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Actually splits Biden... Um, By, it's um, Biden's um, votes because, because they believe that the blacks would vote oh, for, for him. So it's a distraction. I can yeah. believe that story because he, up until right now, I think he was a he Trump said, supporter. Yeah. So. What he said also was <clears> very <throat> smart because Which one? I think it's very stupid for everyone to think that every black person must be a Democrat. If, uh, that, it's not that, stupid. That, that, that statement was, uh, was in fact, manipulative. Was extremely manipulative. It wasn't a smart move at all. I, I, I was trying to read this news and I, I almost laughed. Why do you think on it's TV. manipulative? It is manipulative because what, what you have to establish here, and if, if, I, if you cannot admit this, then you're not gonna, you don't want to have an honest conversation. This is to every Kanye fan, is that he is running for the sheer reason of ego. Because if you knew, if you really had America's, um, what's it called, um, Americans in, in, in mind, you know that it's a two-party system. You know that. Anyone that's, uh, that's doing anything else is just wasting away votes. There's going to be a winner, and it's obviously going to be between the Republicans and the Democrats. You know that. So if he knows that, and he's not putting his ego first to make it about himself... And he, has not even taken any, he hadn't taken any step until now thank you. to even join you, any, any of the party. party mm. To even try and like understand how to be really equipped. You're a singer. You don't have a... Back, okay, no, they dashed you one because you had made albums but you didn't have a degree until the longest time you didn't do anything around politics your reality tv star maybe yeah his wife on. is even doing better thank you she if she ran i even understand that she's trying to like put the the people first or whatever you haven't done anything about that and then you're saying that you're not trying to deviate how can how can you not see it as a means for trump supporters to um, what's it called banish what's it called um, joe biden's mm -hmm. um, thingy anyway it's ridiculous and this is not a political show <laughs> mm. Well, it's, it's it's a conspiracy theory that can fly, but yeah, so he can fly. Yeah, he can fly. Honestly. So you believe he's honestly running for president um, has, with the good intentions he, he, of America? And he's said, just I coming think, now. Think, now, think, now think, oh, Kanye West has said he would run for president before Donald Trump became president. And he president. didn't do anything about it till now. Till right now. Yeah, but the fact that the intention has always been there, we can't really question the man's intention. I'm not in his heart. I think you can if the actions are not aligning with the quote unquote intention. If you say you love me and you're not doing anything to prove that, I can't. Till I'm able to be able to. And then last minute, when I'm about to marry deserve. somebody else, you're not telling life. me. Hey, it's not just about life. You no, uh -huh. What are you talking about? Look, you love some people. Yeah? And then when I'm about to and get married to this conversation, is moving into a relationship you with love, somebody you else. You love some I'm people, going on the and aisle you not two days before. You're not going to tell me. Until you know that, okay, I'm in a position where I can express. And what's your position? You haven't done anything. So what is his position now? What is Kanye's position? position for America. Since um, America is a love has, child. He, he thought about <laughs> it. He sprayed about it. He's a born again Christian. Is is the gospel. And he also does not understand <laughs> what is going on with COVID nineteen. Someone that is supposed to be the president. He 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 could not think deep to understand COVID nineteen. That to tell us that they are coming to put chip in our hand mm. to become six. But he said he wearing. said it said it's about the vaccine and all that. So um, I don't know. I don't know. People have different theories about COVID nineteen. So let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. I can't question Kanye. Okay, Kanye you West, you have a vote in Ifeonu Washington. Hopefully, you'll be able to vote. vote. I wish I could um, vote. And that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906005719 or Twitter to us at Plus TV Africa. Also, watch this conversation all over again on social media, on our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always well to go to my interesting whole anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Yes, that's me. And the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie. Godwin, please to stay safe.